Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, we are going to work on one of the most used machine learning algorithm in data science that is called as decision tree algorithm. There are some techniques in decision tree algorithm. I will teach you the technique differences with easy mathematical explanations. Okay, so before starting this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe for more Python and machine learning videos. So let's start this video. The decision tree algorithm is one of the effective algorithm if you learn the mathematics behind that. I will explain the mathematics when we writing the particular code. Okay. So for performing the decision tree algorithm, I used one data set which represents, which represents the data of heart failure prediction measures. So look at my code. In the first cell, I imported the data set and few supporting libraries. But apart from this libraries, there are some more libraries we have to import. So after finishing the pre-processing steps, we will import those libraries and I will explain those libraries on that particular part. Okay. So in the next cell, I made a simple feature allocation step. In this step, I allocated my target data into Y variable and remaining features will go under the X variable. After the feature allocation, I, I loaded those variables into my splitting part. Basically in this part, we are splitting the data set into train and test. In the training part, I allocated 70% data and remaining 25% I allocated this for this data. So that's all about the pre-processing steps. Now the most important and interesting step of this algorithm comes here. Here I wrote the code for implementing the decision tree classifier algorithm. And the important thing here is I set the criterion as entropy. This parameter holds some mathematics behind itself. First thing you have to understand what is mean by entropy. In simple words, Entropy is something called as randomness or disorderness in the data measures. So this is the one line about the entropy. So let's dive into some mathematics. Here for measuring the entropy, we have one formula that is E of S equal to minus probability of positive class into log of positive class minus probability of negative class into log of negative class. This is the entropy formula here. So let's disintegrate this formula. Here the positive class is 0 and negative class is 1. So in our case, 0 means the person is not dead and 1 means the person is dead. So absolutely 1 is our negative class here. Totally we have 203 positive classes and 96 negative classes. Our dataset values are very big. Consider this example, we have 8 positive classes and 4 negative classes. This is our parent node and when we split this node, we will get 2 extra node, 5 positive and 2 negative and 3 positive and 2 negative. If we split again, we will get this as a n node. So why I am calling it a n node means we cannot split this once again. So it is better to stop this from here. Now consider the parent node as a feature 1 and root nodes are feature 2 and feature 3. Let's check the entropy in feature 2 and feature 3. So let's implement those values in the entropy formula that I mentioned before. So look at this. For the feature 2, we got 0.85 entropy and for the feature 3, we got 0.96 entropy. So compared to this, the feature 2 got less entropy. It means this feature has less impurity. So if we select the less impurity features, we will get more accuracy. So this is how this is how the feature selection works in decision tree. So once we selected the features, we need to apply the information gain formula. For the information gain, we have one formula that is e of y minus e of y divided by x. Here y is our parent node entropy and x is our feature entropy. So let's take this above example for this implementation. First we have to find the entropy of our parent node and once you find the entropy you need to subtract with respective feature nodes. Here we have two features so dead is one feature and not dead is another feature. So once we get those information gain values we have to choose the highest number among those. Here the highest number means lot of information gained from those features. So this is the concept of this parameter. You have to understand everything about the entropy here. Otherwise you can't apply this algorithm in real time data set. Okay. So after implementing the decision tree classifier, we need to test our model against the test data. So let's run this cell. You see here this is our prediction against the test data. Let's form the confusion matrix here. So this matrix clearly shows us how well our model is. Our model correctly predicts 0 40 times and 21 times it correctly predicts 1. So it seems like we got only less error from this confusion matrix. 
let's find out the accuracy here i already wrote the code for the accuracy our accuracy here is 81 percentage so our model works fine on this data set so that's all about this video thanks for watching and thank you see you on next week